this campaign isn't about saying to making people feel bad for giving the wrong advice in the past. It's saying that you know we've all given people the wrong advice. We all maybe didn't say the most helpful thing in the past, and that actually now, if you have the knowledge and you have the right information, then you can give better advice in the future. I actually really do think that in like education like this should start in primary school, and that doesn't mean that like teaching like seven year olds about sex, like no. But um, it's not just sex education, it's sex and relationships education. And you can teach primary school aged children about what a healthy relationship is. I think for young people, they need to know what's right and what's wrong in a relationship so that they're in a healthy one. And I think it's just really important to start highlight that from a young age. It's really important to recognize the impact that uh, media and advertising um, have on perpetuating certain expectations around the roles of uh, men and women. It should be something that everyone thinks about and it's just, it becomes normal I guess, it becomes a norm. So people, because if people are secretive about things, then of course things are, bad things are going to happen to people. We need to be open with each other so that we don't, there's no sense of fear between us. I think the kind of services and the kind of support that we all want is one that where if you're experiencing something that doesn't feel right to you, if you're experiencing a level of violence or abuse, if you're feeling that, you know, within your relationship that this is not the kind of relationship you want to have, you want to be believed, no matter who you talk to. So you want to be able to go to your friend and say, you know, this isn't, this isn't right, I'm not liking this, and you want to be believed, and then you want to have some good advice. And I think that's the heart of what we're trying to do. It's about creating change within your own environment and in your own community and actually just being ready because you never know when someone's going to ask for your advice. It's something that we need to talk about more because if that is taught in schools regularly, it becomes like a normal lesson and then it doesn't, it's not taboo as it was before. What's come up in the panel um, a number of times tonight is that there is gender inequality. You, we get told the ways to be young men and the ways to be young women. And I think, you know, it's about challenging some of those gender scripts that don't feel right to us. The thing that I always tell people is that you don't have to feel like <coughs> you're going to change the world. You begin with just your circle, your friends, your family. You feel really proud and tell people what you've done. Show people what you've done. It's a wonderful piece of work and it's brilliant and it's great to finally have something where you um, as experts, as the young people, finally have a, a forum to, to talk about these issues. You're not alone. Like Other people are experiencing the same things you are. We need to not ignore people, we need to make sure they feel positive about their lives and Speak Sense is a great project because young people know what young people want. We know that if we need something to become better, we know what it is. We can't always rely on the older generation to actually know what we know or think they know what we know. But rather we should tell them what we want to change and get that change done instead of just talking about it. Let's actually do something. Like to ask questions, like ask people about maybe their relationships and that your friends and your family. Right now, it's just to get someone thinking. Once they're thinking, they start to think more and they just start to expand and all that. I think just tweet it as well, make it loud, Snapchat. Obviously, you're putting the Snapchat ready, snap this, all of that. Definitely kind of about sharing those experiences because actually you know best, you know your world. I just want to say thank you so much for all of you guys being involved. It's taken so many people to actually get this from that meeting so long ago in Kensington today so thank you so much we couldn't have done it without all of your involvement so please just give yourself a pretty big round of applause